Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Because you guys like my Days Gone videos so much, I thought of making another one, so here you go. This time I would like to compare Days Gone with The Last of Us. The games both play in a post-apocalyptic world that is dominated by zombie-like humans. In both games you play as a male protagonist that struggles to find its place in the new world. Joel has lost his daughter Sarah and Deacon has lost his wife or girlfriend. The difference between the two characters is that Joel decided to become a smuggler whereas Deacon is a mercenary and a bounty hunter. Whereas Joel decided to stay on the right track, Deacon seemed to have joined the rather dark side of this world. On his quest to deliver Ellie to the fireflies, however, Joel changes. Joel starts to care for Ellie and does everything to save her from harm. He's willing to torture people to find his way through this world. By the end of the game, Joel doesn't seem to be the hero anymore. By this point, we can't tell if Deacon's character is also undergoing major changes. The reason he chose his profession could be the loss of his loved one though. His character could in a way resemble Joel's character. Now coming to the most significant point of both games, I'd like to talk about the zombies. In The Last of Us, humans are infected by a parasitic fungal infection. The infection would start spreading in the human being when he or she breathes in the spores of that fungus. The infection affects the brain and turns them into mindless and aggressive mutants. There are three stages of this infection. The first starts within the first few days of being infected. The second stage starts only a few weeks later and makes the infected into incredibly fast and powerful enemies. Slowly the infection will blemish the still human looking face and the infected will lose its sight. The third stage is reached after approximately one or two years. After decades of infection, the host will reach its final state. The infected doesn't resemble a human being anymore and is also the most dangerous of them all. In short, the infected first turn into stalkers, then into runners, clickers and finally into bloaters. In Days Gone, the infected can't really be called zombies either. Just like in The Last of Us, humans are also infected by a virus that turns them into these zombie-like creatures. In contrast to The Last of Us, the infected here appear in huge masses. In Days Gone, we also know that there will be two classes of zombies. The first ones are the basic ones we already see in the trailer, the ones that appear in these huge masses. They are very fast and are longing for human flesh. The other ones are the newts. The newts on the other side don't directly approach the player, but rather attack with seal attacks. They sneak up or jump on the player to bring him down. From this point we can already tell that the game are going to be completely different in terms of gameplay, while The Last of Us is playable in stealth mode entirely, it's more likely that the player has to directly approach the enemy in Days Gone. I can really imagine that it will be possible to stealthily play Days Gone at this point. There seems to be a lot more action in the latter. The last thing I want to talk about is crafting. Crafting is an issue in The Last of Us but not a big one. The game allows you to improve your weapons in terms of making more damage or creating your magazine, but you definitely can't personalize your weapons and create them according to your own wishes. In The Last of Us you can craft bombs of different kinds or upgrade a wooden stick and turn it into a deadly one-hit weapon. Sadly this is pretty much all you can do in the game. The Days Gone trailer already shows that it's possible to craft silences for your weapons for example. I personally hope that Days Gone will allow the player to craft individual weapons. I'd like to see a crafting system like in Dying Light where there are no limitations and you can craft every weapon you like instead of only upgrading a fixed weapon like in, in The Last of Us. What we've also seen is that you can craft sticky bombs. This gives me really hope that the player will also be able to craft a huge variety of bombs or traps. Gameplay wise there is a lot Days Gone can make better than The Last of Us. As you already know, The Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time but it inarguably can be a little bit repetitive, I just want to be honest. 
From what we've seen in the trailer, I can say that Days Gone forms a great basis for a great crafting system and therefore enjoyable gameplay. As a conclusion, I can say that I really hope that Days Gone will be able to step out of the shadows of The Last of Us. Both games seem to have similarities and this is plausible because they're both PlayStation exclusive zombie shooters and focus on a great storyline. I think that Days Gone could easily surpass The Last of Us in terms of gameplay if they only decide to add extensive crafting me mechanics and individuality. I also believe that the story will fascinate the player. All in all, I can say that I'm really positive about the game and I can't wait to see more of it. Now I'd like to ask you, are you positive about the game as I am or do you have a more critical view? What do you expect from Days Gone? So please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos like that in the future. I'd really like to discuss this topic with you because Days Gone is one of the most anticipated games to me and yeah I just want, want to discuss this topic a bit further since we don't really get more information at the moment and yeah I'd just like to, to talk about it a bit. So. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.